Hello YouTube and welcome to my next Blender modeling tutorial and now we're gonna continue modeling this nice BMW car okay so today we're gonna make the roof but before we get into modeling it I noticed that previous time I wanted to add um okay where did that image go I wanted to add those pieces in to the main geometry detail and uh, I forgot about it so I'm gonna quickly do it now okay I'm gonna set cursor here around the place where it's supposed to be or the piece is supposed to be that, that uh, cylindric shape thing and as I already told just right now, it's cylindric. So I can add cylinder. And I'm gonna set the vertex curve to 8 and radius to 0 0.01. And depth as well to 0 0.01. Like this. Okay, depth could be 0 0.02 maybe. Yeah, this looks decent enough. And, uh, or maybe radius even. 0.015 or 0.02 okay this should be fine like that and uh, what else I'm gonna do is set this to triangle fan now I'm gonna press press R X 90 to rotate it around X axis Moot out a bit and rotate a bit around x axis like this to make sure that it is kind of aligned to the surface and um, now delete this vertex and select the rest of it at this piece um, those vertices around this part and press S to scale down like that so okay and uh, if you wish you can even I think that you can kind of grab this out a bit I'll take a look at the reference yeah it's not that flat okay so uh, we have done this I'm gonna set it to smooth shading and uh, we have done this piece of interior um, I'm gonna move the cursor to center again so now we must get into modeling the roof but oh uh, okay here's the reference some references I found here online um, for roof I don't need much reference but for this cope car I can see that it kind of has this part of it um, how to call it well this arch here and then it has separate the roof of it, of it which yes it's kind of that thing um so we can get in the modeling part so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add new plane as always we do um gx1 here rename it to roof not rough but roof i have no idea what it is rough i didn't mean to do that do not complain about it it was accident that i called it wrong okay um while modeling right now you can see a huge problem those pieces under it all the way down here are problems so again we can just select it and move to layer 2 and we do it the same with lots of parts like this basically what you need is the interior with this panel you need hoods and you need wings you don't need anything else now you can select this model again grab it kind of upwards where, it's, where it is uh, select this object or not yeah 
select this and move the cursor to here and then this vertex to the cursor what you do now is set cursor to around uh, this vertex and move this vertex to the cursor great and uh, now in the top view let's okay it seems that it would be better if, if we placed it here great what I'm gonna do here with those is I'm gonna add a look at here like that and delete these vertices leaving it like this now inside view I'm gonna move I'm gonna actually take that vertex to this point and then this vertex to here like this and uh, now it kind of matches it here the same same story great we have our this part of it kind of finished but um sorry Oh yeah. Um you move cursor here and this selection to cursor then cursor here and this selection to cursor. Um other this will allow us to simply make this curve here. Because yeah actually you don't need any kind of that model here. So what you can see here is an issue here we need a knife cut here and I'm gonna drag it around this I'm gonna drag it all through it to this point um, and not modify this vertex here only uh, the one on this side now cursor to here and this vertex to cursor and finally we can get in the smooth modeling of it or aligning it all the way through it so what I look at here like this grab this vertex place it here this vertex here and this vertex here such simple thing to do nothing complicated here everything is basic and in top view you align those vertices with the geometry again so you can kind of see how those vertices should be placed okay um, now you just keep cutting it with loop cut um, with a, not knife but loop cut because it's kind of simpler with loop cut in this case and uh, you just keep pl placing vertices around it like that as you can see I'm doing well with them okay here I could mo move this vertex a bit in as well as this one Not that one. Okay. Great. Now again, loop cut. Drag it to here and align. This will take quite a time to do, but as far as I see it now, it's the only way to really get a roof like it's supposed to be. And it seems that the result should be fine and kind of match the actual geometry because. Yeah, the roof geometry is simple. 
it's one of the easiest parts of course those windshields and uh, rear okay maybe the hoods as well are co quite of simple the wings aren't complex but the roof also roof I think that the roof is second easiest thing after the windshield you can't say that for all cars some of the cars has some kind of complex geometry and roofs um, but this car doesn't however the roof takes time to create it requires you to be patient because I don't know why but it does okay let's those views doesn't match by 100% okay the, the rear windshield might rather use the top view firstly and only then the side view its prime view is top view I guess you will get it by yourself I hope so <laughs> okay I'll keep placing vertices all around looking and positioning and uh, remember that you don't need too high geometry here but you still need to make sure that it looks around because here it's kind of significant how pure curve it makes it's very it needs to be very neat curve and here it's almost straight but still kind of curve there so try to keep its correct curve shape and then it's gonna be fine and uh, yeah so you just now follow my steps here I don't need high polygon count I need really low geometry here because there's no smooth detail up here so I can make a big straight line here because it isn't that curvy anymore in here So, and I just keep placing vertices, and I and you do and you do the same, okay? So, getting well with this. Now I'm gonna look at it again. I don't see it. Okay loop it here drag it to this point now I'm gonna match the point of the door like that to make sure it's kind of here with it yeah, and the side view is kind of disappointing because it isn't I mean top view because it doesn't match the side view or opposite the side view doesn't match top view huh <laughs> hard to tell okay but I'm gonna currently focus on the side view because it better shows off the geometry of it it's kind of it's kind of asking me to be pulled up okay again look at here here it's almost straight this case so I can have a really big straight line like that and I did no, don't need to worry about incompleteness in geometry because also up there on the roof there isn't much geometry at this point and you must really try to see where you can save vertices because it's like currency if you waste it all it's not gonna be fine you can't afford to waste it all and then be empty because okay in this case you lose performance in games because I'm modeling for game and game requires good optimization and that means it needs something that runs well on your computer and I have a low end computer with weak graphics cards so I need to worry about poly count and I do it of course, do not lose your mind trying to find perfect poly counts. 
you will always result in a car model with kind of at least 5000 vertices it's minimum to have a good looking car you can't you just can't have a good looking car with 10 words uh, with 1000 vertices sorry i i i i didn't mean 10 i mean 1000 it's not it's too low amount you will obviously see it's low quality so you have to be ready to have at least 5000 maybe 10 but you in games in modern games yeah you can see 25000 vertices it depends on the game type and the graphics system you're using for example if you have ultra optimized engine and any for example in host engine specially optimized for a game and so on you can afford uh, more vertices but um, in some other cases you can't um, but yeah I would not recommend you to make it more poly than 10,000 for games no 50,000 you can uh, you must aim at around 5 to 10,000 because it, it's the balance between performance and and appearance yes it's kind of balance value that 5 to 10,000 a good value kind of yeah kind of good value I'm gonna place it here inside the first like that to match the front windshield but again I'm gonna rematch it in top view because it's top view where we are gonna focus on making the windshield so like that and then I can adjust the height of it to make sure that it kind of looks nice and archy in the side view and not much remaining for this roof Just a few sets of vertices, if you look at. And we are approaching the final product kind of fastly and and successfully. Okay. Keep loop cutting it all through it. Until it's done. For me it's gonna be done really soon, it seems to be and yeah once you finish this arch you have the very basic shape of the of the roof which is already gonna be a good thing it's gonna kind of be like frame of the roof if it is a frame of roof this arch it's the frame for the roof and it's important to make it be as good as possible it determines the poly, poly count in the rest of the roof roof the shape of it all of what its parameters so yeah try to make it look fine so Approaching it quickly. Seems like I could pull those vertices upwards a bit feels correct to do it like so okay and I'm gonna make a look at here which is kind of gonna finish it out here because I'm gonna go in this hood and move the cursor to that point and move this vertex to the cursor and of course Or to adjust this vertex here and 
And what I can do here, uh, I'm gonna move cursor to here. And well, I'm gonna add one cut here and make it split into two pieces here. Move this selection to cursor and cut here like that. Now in the top view I'm gonna finish it out here. Like this. Great! We have those curves. Those arches here. And uh, what's left for the roof is the plane on top of it. And of course that detail here. Um, what is it? <laughs> okay, whatever it is, it's needed there, I think. It's something that's needed for the roof. Okay, let's go in top view now. Um, you can see how you can make it here simply by grabbing those vertices all around this curve part and extruding them. I'm gonna not make it too high poly here so around the edges it needs more polygons here same will do the windows so it's good to kind of make it higher poly around here and in the middle it really doesn't need much geometry so I'll keep placing those vertices all around here until I get the right adjustments of them. I'm gonna kind of scale them down an x-axis to really low value. Like that. And locate them correctly. And then do another extrusion. Match vertices again not much to do and uh, again select those vertices and do final extrusion and here you can do the final adjustments for the vertices of the roof to make sure that they look Neat. Okay, and then side view, what you do is let's start with the center because it's easier to do. Wrap it up to the top part of it to match as it's shown in the reference. Keep pulling those vertices up. and yes to kind of make the shape of the roof okay wrong okay this one and it's gonna not be difficult to make it and uh one important thing about curves is that in this case the next layer of vertices I'm gonna sh quickly show it off should have really low Z difference and this one should have higher one uh, at this edge you can see how they make curve here so each the distance each distance here makes it be here then oh I can see the issue where's the top image this one like this and now 
we can actually yeah my mistake with the reference image I have set it up a bit wrong now I can afford to match them here like this and move this out to here in that way and of course match it here I hope that you didn't make that little mistake here. Okay. And in top view, it almost looks right. For the front, I'm gonna adjust it again in top view a bit. Because top view is priority for the windshield, so we need to match the win shape to be good to for windshield creation okay great we have it here as well as here basically you just adjust the Z while it will fit and now you the last thing that you do I'm gonna go in. This view doesn't require me to be in wireframe mode anymore. So I keep placing those vertices up like this. Until I get a shape of the roof. Here you can actually during this process you can sim you it's simple to adjust it even more um, because you kind of see where the vertices are not making correct curves. There you just adjust them. And yeah. So basically be finished roof really really soon. For me it's so small amount of things to do left. Really. Of course later we'll have a tutorial for interior of roof. But before that we'll have to make door. Yeah, we'll have to make door. Door out. Exterior of door. And then we're gonna actually add. F we're gonna. I'm gonna then add a big tutorial where we're gonna make some the remaining symmetrical parts of interior. Of. But before that, we're gonna make interior of roof and door in the same tutorial. So it's gonna be huge interior tutorial, and it will be long. However this tutorial we have just few things remaining firstly I'm gonna move cursor here make sure that it's in center and press shift a plane and immediately GX1 and I'm gonna scale down a lot make it be kind of small. Now I'm gonna select the, these middle vertices. Pull them up like that. And for the rest of vertices I'm gonna move them like this. Then I can't see it in top view. If I take a look in reference it's kind of not wide. It's like this. And one more thing about it is you do this type of look at make it rounder here. Um can even afford to drag this up like that. As well as this one. Okay, and top view 
this word says moves inside of it what I do here fill this with triangle oh we're right extrude in x-axis this one and then fill with triangle that sort of makes one part of the shape and then extrude this in z-axis select quad here and fill it in and basically the same for this part extrude it there without a bit fill in extrude this kind of position it as you see being right again select a quad here and fill it in um, and yeah basically you have this detail down and we basically have finished our roof yeah oh right one more thing that we always do is edge splits and in this case Sorry, I already wanted you to leave. I, I already wanted to finish the tutorial, but we have one more thing here left to do. <laughs> we have to make this window in because it's not part of door, it's not part of rear or front wheel windshield, it's not part of anything, only part of roof. To do that, I'm gonna make all the frame around it. I'm gonna make this metal piece. I think that it's not part of the door. Let me see. Edit different images. Oh, there are two of them like that. Okay, so I can make that frame here. I'm gonna take this room. Text. I'm gonna make a knife cut to here. What I can do now, or no, I can just extrude it like that and position it here and extrude all around of here like this Now I go in top view and oh yeah I can quickly fill in or not yet or yes fill in fill it all fill remember that this thing you should try to make it better make it a bit smaller than it is than wider do not make it be wide because this thing isn't wide this is very small metal piece there I'm gonna fill this up and here you set cursor to here select this word express E and shift S selection cursor and then fill in this and I'm gonna move this vertex cursor now what I'm gonna do is select this vertex firstly move it out like that and then each vertex one by one drag them out like this to make sure that they match how they are in, in their friends like this so for me it's kind of this like, like this
Okay. And now we what we do is we grab those two vertices here, press extrude, and then much kind of this way. In top view, go drag them out. Make them kind of be like this. And extrude again. Again, kind of match it. And extrude again to the heat, this point. And uh, here, I'm gonna set cursor to this vertex and move this vertex here. And I'm gonna add a knife cut here, like this, so. And move cursor there. And move this vertex to cursor. And now we have the geometry. Uh, of course, one more important thing to do is to fill it. And this is not gonna be complex. Uh, in geometry, we're gonna not kind of make that black part. Of course, we're okay, we're gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna extrude it here, move it to this point. Extrude it again. Again, move it to there. And what? Okay. Right. Now we have the margin around it. We can just select the margin, all of it, and press E scale, S for scale. Great. Now let's see how do we align it. Okay, not so small. Like that. Great. Of course, I'm gonna do some manual adjustments. Like here, for example, it's kind of on the top part and very consistent small like this even moving inwards and it's kind of this yeah in the top view, you can grab those extra vertices and adjust them. Let's see what we can do. We must kind of move them out a bit to make it again be a curve. Kind of a rule for car. Be curve. Car consists of curves. It's important fact to remember. It's a very curvy thing. Okay. And inside view I'm gonna fill it. Oh okay. Actually I'm gonna extrude here with few vertices and fill like that and adjust these vertices here to make it a bit higher detail so and now we're gonna just fill it in and it's gonna be done fill 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 
and again fail 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 and the last fail what you can see here firstly I'm gonna make sure it's smooth it's kind of making issues so I'm gonna go mesh normals recalculate outside it fixed it immediately what else I think is that you must try to make it not so distorted by moving those vertices like that and side view you can try to find a way how they should be placed not the easiest thing at this point it isn't impossible to do great and the last thing is edge splits um, the first thing that we must split is here mm, and you do mesh edges edge split then we split it here the roof requires a lot of edge splits kind of a lot of edges to split but not a match of um yeah select these edges and as well do edge split edges edge split and now I'm kind of sure that it is done we have finished our roof for the car if I now take all the uh, objects from the second layer and move them to first layer you can see the basic shape of car being very visible and now it really looks like a car already of course there's a lot of things to do we ha still have to make it there um, there are also some few more details to add yeah because we need to finish the interior we need doors and uh, then we're gonna add few little details like insides of lamps because once we get to the material creations we'll s find it out being needed but for now for today we have finished our tutorial and we are having already good progress we have finished almost finished the hull of the car just the doors remaining and the shield windshields and then our car is gonna be finished so thank you for watching this tutorial hope you enjoyed it if so, don't forget to leave a like, and if you haven't already, then go ahead and subscribe. And make sure to share this tutorial for other people who may be interested in modeling car, develop uh, car creation, game development, and so on. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next tutorial.